Rottweilers, those lovable tanks of the dog world, have been through a bit of an evolution throughout the years. But why do they seem to have a shorter snout and a different head shape than they used to? Well, it all comes down to breeding practices. Over the years, breeders around the globe have selectively bred Rottweilers to emphasize certain physical traits that align with the breed standards as defined by kennel clubs or the aesthetic preferences of dog owners. This can result in subtle shifts in the appearance of the breed over generations. Historically, Rottweilers were bred as working dogs. They needed a strong build and a powerful jaw to herd livestock and pull carts for butchers among other tasks. Their heads were broad and their snouts were robust to aid in their work. Endurance and utility were the winning tickets. Fast forward to today, many Rottweilers are now bred primarily to be pets or show dogs. The breeding criteria might focus more on looks that fit the breed standards set by organizations like the American Kennel Club, AKC, or for a cuter, more marketable appearance. The AKC breed standard for the Rottweiler describes a medium-length snout and an overall appearance of a robust and powerful dog with a strong, compact build. Some breeders interpret this as a preference for a shorter snout and adjust their breeding choices accordingly. But it's crucial to remember that overemphasizing head features can have health implications for the dogs. Brachycephalic breeds, like bulldogs, already suffer from health conditions due to their flat faces and reduced airway size. While Rottweilers are not brachycephalic, any trend towards a shorter snout could pose similar risks. Breeding for physical traits should always be done with the health and well-being of the animal in mind, since letting aesthetics trump health can lead to a lifetime of breathing problems, overheating, and a range of other issues for the dog. As for me, sitting here in Portland, I've seen my fair share of Rottweilers at the local dog parks. They might have different mugs than their ancestors, but their temperaments tend to be just as steady and their presence just as bold. Because what really matters isn't the length of a Rottweiler's snout, but rather the wag of its tail and the love it has for its human companions. So, when considering a Rottweiler or any breed, remember to look beyond the breed standards and ensure you're bringing a healthy, happy pup into your life. After all, a dog's health and happiness are more important than a specific look.